say that's very honest. Kind of. I, I think it's one of the, the, the strongest girls. <laughs> I think it's one of the strongest uh, clips in the film. I mean, um, as we started getting into kind of resolving more stuff from our past, and, and, and we realized that it would be awesome to spend some time with Dave and, and clear some of that. Um, I've always liked Dave, and, and I'm actually um, had a bit of a. Uh, I, I spoke to him a lot on the phone for a couple of years right before we met for that clip in the movie, and he was kind of willing and, and open to doing that until so we sat down, and I was just stunned like I told you about the main thing when he looks back on his life is the fact that he's been playing second fiddle to Metallica for, for his whole career. I mean, this is a guy who's made some of the best heavy metal albums of the 80s and 90s and who that great, great band that I'm at least a huge fan of. And it was so weird to me to just sit there with this guy who was just sitting there going like, I've been just playing second fiddle to you guys all my life. People taught me when I walked down the street and yell Metallica. And, He's never been able to get over that. It's kind of sad, actually. James, did you get to? Did you talk to Dave? I haven't, but there's a lot in common. We share a lot <laughs> of struggles, um, and I, I can see that he's driven by perfection and the own critic in his own head, just driving him to you got to do better than those guys. You got to do this, and I, you know, I think we all have that critic somewhat. But mine is mine is pretty tough on me too, you know. Um, but I, we share a lot, so I think we could have a pretty good conversation. I'm glad I wasn't there at the time. I wasn't ready for that then. And yeah. I'll sit that one out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Rock on. Marinella, where are you? I'm right here, man. We're going to dive right back into our rock countdown. The number five most downloaded rot song. Rot, rot song? It rotted. No, I love them. It's Switchfoot, Meant to Live. And here are number four. Check them out. I extra love them. Velvet Revolver with Slither. Come hang on. All right, stick around. We've got more Monster, more Metallica. It's all next on Daily Download. Hang out. How are you? Talk. James Lars. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, this is Daily Download, and we're hanging with James and Lars of Metallica. I thoroughly enjoyed watching your children in the film. The little girl, the ballet, she's adorable, and your son on the drums. I just thank you. I wanted to squeeze the cheeks very hard. Uh, how has Parenthood changed the relationship with the band and you guys in general? Well, I, I think uh, you know it's it's another thing we have in common, and it, and it pretty much happened at the same time. So as far as the touring schedule, it's a you know, we've always kind of pushed and pulled on that, but now <laughs> we we don't tour around kids' vacations for right. some reason, you know. We get to hang out with the family. So the great, cool. great thing is that they go to different schools, and and a lot of times the vacations are like off from each other. So instead of like one week for spring break, we actually get two weeks for spring break because they're you know different times. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we can use that against the other guys, get more time at home. It worked out really well. Very cool. Um, one of my other favorite parts of the movie was when your dad is kind of telling you that the track shouldn't be on the record <laughs> at all. Like. How much? I don't think he was that kind. If all was you imagine, words. his dad right. basically delete said the song. Yeah, his basically he said that basically he'd delete the song. But um, this is very nice of him. Very straightforward guy. I have much respect for that. Um, how much do your, does your father or your parents in general affect you know how you feel about your own music? And is it like a big deal for you you know to be accepted by them because you're always like the rebel kids? Well, my or dad has just always pushed, pushed, you know, pushed me to challenge myself as much as possible. He, he spent a lot of time in the 50s and 60s kind of being absorbed in the jazz scene that was going on in Copenhagen. So there was a lot of, of music at the time that really pushed, put the, the sort of the, what was considered normal at the time. And um, he, I, you know, when I was hanging out with him in his room and stuff like he was always playing, you know, Sonny Rollins or John Coltrane or Weather Report or all these crazy kind of things and so when I would sit there and play like Deep Purple Smoke on the Water go the drummer sounds a little white doesn't he <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I kind of get challenged to kind of step it up a little bit <laughs> and so he's always just tried to kind of challenge me to just kind of you know step it up and, and kind of move it further out to, towards the edge you know that's awesome. That's very cool, man. And the film is absolutely fantastic. Some kind of monster opens tomorrow, but if you can't wait, check out our site. We've got the film trailer as one of our bonus downloads. All right, guys, time for your favorite Metallica video. You guys voted online, and one was your favorite. Check it out.
favorite. That video was awesome. Um, yay, fans. I love them. So, uh, I, you guys are going yeah, off no, to Europe. Where's, where's, where are our hats at, man? You want, you want hats you as want, well? No, I just don't understand why we have to be left out of that. What's that well, about? I'd share it with you, but then you have to buy it. <laughs> I'm just playing. Nine, nine, nine. Maybe, maybe I can download it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear you our producers can. laughing. It's awesome. Oh, um, right, you guys sorry, are going off to Europe. Share. What? Oh no no no. Oh, we what? No, no. Are you guys are you guys going to do some touring like. anytime soon? There's a book we are out. in we're about still touring three right minutes. Still touring. In about three minutes, we go on vacation. Okay. So if you nice. could just uh, hurry up and say goodbye. Oh, we're right, going, going home. Hey, we're done. We're, we're done. <laughs> All right then. Some we kind of monster opens tomorrow in New York and across the country throughout the summer. See it. It is it very is very awesome. Dangerous. And everyone in today's audience got an Atari Driver 3 swag. Get online Large. and enter our Watch and Win Driver 3 contest. You could win the game and also the Xbox or PlayStation. All right. Check us out tomorrow. We got Jet and Sugar Cult to be live in our studio. Plus, Will Ferrell's going to tell us about his flick, Anchorman. Huge thanks to James and Lars of Metallica for hanging with us. Leave you with a taste of top rock down low in the country, friends, fighting on with Take Me Out. Yeah.